Hello friends, welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. We're up to day 59 out of our 1001 tarot spread. The question today is, how can I overcome my shyness? Or is it something I even need to try to overcome? This six card spread uses the major arcana and the court cards from the minor arcana. That would be king, queen, knight, and page in most decks. Sometimes the names get changed a little bit. So why would you want to spread like this? This spread is for people who are having difficulty making new friends, or possibly have just entered a new environment and are struggling to make the, are struggling to adapt to their new environment. So we're gonna get right into it. As I said, this is a six card spread. The first card answers the question, is shyness ruining my Is my shyness interfering with my social life, or is it a false... Wow, well, need to start that over. Card number one answers the question, is my shyness interfering with my social and work life, or is it something I don't need to worry about? Card number two, what am I afraid of in interacting with others, in approaching others, or when they approach me? Card number three, should I seek professional help? Or is this something I can resolve on my own? Card number four, what are some baby steps that I can take to overcome my shyness without increasing my anxiety? Card number five, with whom am I most comfortable? This might be a specific person or it might be a type of person. Card number six, what type of environment is best for me to socialize in where I will be calmer and better able to interact with others. As always, this is just a demonstration of how this spread can be used. This is not for a specific person, but if I were doing this reading for someone who came to me with this concern, this, this is how I would read them. So we're gonna go ahead and shuffle the major arcana and the court cards, and we're gonna lay them out and see what we get for this spread. All right, I've tried arranging things slightly differently, so hopefully I stay fully in the camera view this time as I am doing this. And again, we are still sticking with the uh, Tarot of the Owls. Okay, card one. Are we fully on camera? Card two, card three, four, five, and six. Okay, we're gonna arrange that a little more like this. Okay. Mostly uprights, so that's a good sign. Only two reversed. Okay, we're gonna start going through this. Card number one is the tower. That corresponds to the question of, is my shyness causing problems in my social life? Is it causing problems at work? The tower upright is calamity. It is crisis. So I would say yes. This is something you do need to address. It's probably not something you can just ignore. Actually, with the tower, it's almost always something you cannot ignore. So with that in mind, let's move on to card number two, which is the world. The world is a card of completeness. It is a card of endings. It's actually rather fitting that this is the card that is attached to fear of what are you afraid of interacting with, in interacting with others. Because if we look at the Major Arcana as a hero's journey, the world is when you have gone full circle, you're now the master of both worlds, your internal and your external world have achieved balance. To overcome your shyness, to be comfortable interacting with others, you have to reveal some of that inner world to them. And that is frightening. That is a justifiable, understandable fear. Being known can be seen as being vulnerable because the people who know you are the ones who know how to hurt you too. But they could just as easily use that knowledge to help you, to strengthen you, to support you. Moving on to card three. Do I need professional help or can I handle this alone? We have the card of death. 
Death is not just a card of endings, it's also a card of new beginnings. It's a card of transitions. In the context of this question of should you seek professional help, I am inclined to believe that that can be beneficial, but that it's not going to be a permanent thing. Accept it as part of the cycle. Don't feel like you are permanently beholden to therapy or that you're beholden to a single therapist. But I would encourage, based off of this card, that you should consider it. Card number four, what are some steps I can take to overcome my shyness? We have judgment. Judgment asks you to be aware of who you are. Stop looking externally for validation, for your identity. Look internally. Trust your internal voice. Don't worry so much about other people and how they are going to accept or reject you. Just try to be yourself and live your life. The right people will enjoy your company. Not to sound too trite, but as I said a lot online these days, find your tribe. Find the people whose weird matches up with yours and you get along. Because let's be real, everyone's weird. Just some of us hide it better than others. That's not something to be ashamed of. We are all exceptionally unique individuals who have the things that we can't easily explain to others, but that doesn't make it less true. The Knight of Cups is attached to the question, who should I be looking to interact with? Who should I be looking for friendships with? The Knight of Cups is a card that upright represents someone who's comfortable with their emotions, who's at ease with themselves, someone who's charismatic. Reversed, it's a people pleaser, someone who's not comfortable with themselves, someone who is willing to do, th someone who is willing to sacrifice their ideals for acceptance. You don't want to be that person, and you don't want to hang around those people. They will only encourage the worst in you. So instead, look for people who are confident in themselves, but who simultaneously don't push expectations on you. The ones who are happy to see you exactly where you are, exactly who you are, and encourage you to make the changes you want to make, not the ones they want to see. Card number six is the Queen of Wands reversed. This card corresponds to the question, what environment should I be looking for to begin this journey of self-discovery, this journey of overcoming shyness? The Queen of Wands is an imposing woman. She is self-assured, she is highly skilled in her field, and is kind of imposing. Try to find people who are on the same level as you. We, we have the Queen of Wands here reversed. Don't try to find people who have all the answers. Go to places where you are encouraged to ask questions. Questions are the best way to get to know people, both answering them when you are asked and also asking them of others. Try to find a place where you can continue learning, continue growing. This concludes the demonstration of this spread of the How Do I Overcome My Shyness? I hope you enjoyed it. Do you agree with my interpretations of these cards? Do you disagree? Let me know. If you really enjoyed this, please leave a like. If you really, really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. That way you'll be notified the next time I have a video come out. In general, I have a tarot video on weekdays and then in the morning, and then in the afternoon I tend to do mythology videos. Weekends are a toss-up. It depends on if I had a larger video cooking or not. Hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye!